Oh, you are. Oh, you didn't make it. That's what you're saying. That's okay. That's okay. It didn't happen. So we're going to put it off to another day. Yeah, so that's all good. High five on that. All right. <laughs> Giving me an update here. <laughs> hey, buddy, you're here. And you got daddy to come this time. Good job. <laughs> all right. I got a story for you this morning. No, they used to tell me this story when I... Uh-oh. <laughs> you see, he pulls a reverse. When daddy's here, he says, Mommy. And when mommy's here, he says, Daddy. <laughs> He pulls a reverse all the time. That's right. <laughs> Bode, you better be here. He's like, you better be here. Right. That's right. He's sitting down now. Look, that's right. See, he's calm. <laughs> all right. So they used to tell me this story on the island when I was a kid. Now, I can't tell you the story in now they told me in the island because you guys don't talk Jamaican. <laughs> So I doctored it up and got it into the English language so that I can tell you guys the story. And then I'll tell you where I'm going from there. So this happened a long time ago back in the forest where all the animals lived together. And they had a wonderful, nice time living in their village. And they, they had the forest there and the village here. And all the animals lived together. And they could talk. You know, this is a make-believe story now. <laughs> so these animals can talk and these animals are enjoying themselves and stuff. But there was one animal in the forest that was giving them a lot of trouble. And this animal was the snake. Now what happened with the snake, he, as he grew, he got bigger and bigger and bigger. And the bigger he got, the more trouble he gave. He was very smart, very brilliant. He went to all the good schools and stuff like that. But let me tell you what happened. If anybody was walking in his part of the forest, because he didn't live in the village with them, and he didn't like them too much, or just he might be feeling a bit hungry, he just ate them. <laughs> so everybody was scared of the snake. And so they called a town meeting, and all the animals gathered around, and they were there at the town meeting, and they said, listen, we got to do something about the snake. Because he's eating all our kids, he's eating all our little puppies and all these little things, and we don't know what to do. What are we going to do? So the mayor of the town came up. He was a bright old peacock, and he came up and he says, I have an idea. Let us hire the man across the river to come and capture the snake and put it in the zoo. Everybody said, brilliant idea, brilliant idea. So the mayor peacock went and he spoke to the man across the river came back and they called another town meeting. When they called the town meeting, Mayor Peacock said, okay, the man said he'll come and he'll capture the snake for $1,500. The animal said, $1,500, we can't afford $1,500. He says, well, let's see how much money we can put together. So they start putting money together and put, they came up with $500. And they're like, oh my, what are we gonna do? Because if we don't get snake out of the forest, we're going to keep on losing our friends. And so they thought about it. They thought about it. What are we going to do? Anyway, there was one person at that town meeting sitting in a tree, and he was listening to them. This was the spider. No, the spider was kind of the outcast because the spider never went to college. You know, he barely dropped out of high, made it out of high school, and he wasn't as bright as everybody else, but he was smart. <laughs> right? So a spider, you know, came down on his web in the middle of the meeting and said, I'll catch the snake for you for 500 bucks. Everybody went, what? He says, I'll catch the snake for you for 500 bucks. They're like, spider, go back in your web. You didn't even finish college. Look at Mayor Peacock. He went to the brilliant schools and all of that stuff. And if Mayor Peacock can't catch the snake. You're going to catch the snake. Look how small you are. I could just squash you. He's like, listen, will you pay me the $500 if I catch the snake? They're like, okay. Can you catch him by the end of this week? No problem. Give me to the end of the week. So Spider went back up and he devised a plan. And so off he went into the forest a couple days later. And while he was in the forest, he went and he did it. He went, he knew where Snake was. 
And so he went to the tree where a snake was, and he's like, Hey, snake, what's up, man? Snake was like, What are you doing here, spider? <laughs> you know this part of the forest is off limits. You better be careful. I might just eat you. <laughs> and spider was like, oh, Hold on. Don't, don't rush into anything here now. I need your help. And snake is like, Oh, what can I help you with? <laughs> I don't owe you anything. I don't see why I should help you. Spider said, let me tell you something. I was talking to somebody the other day, and I was telling them the most beautiful creature in the forest is the snake. And he's like, I can't disagree with you on that one. <laughs> and then he said to the snake, but I also was talking to someone, and I told them the longest creature in the forest is the snake. And you are just about 15 feet. Snake said, oh, I think I'm longer than that. Ah, spider said, ah, I don't think you're longer than 15 feet. What? Are you saying I'm not longer than 15 feet? Spider said, no, I don't think so. You're beautiful and all that, but you're not the longest creature in the forest. I hear there's another snake somewhere on the other side of... There's another snake? Yeah, and I hear he's more than 15 feet. Spider, I am the longest snake in this forest. There is nobody more majestic than me. There's nobody better than me. And he was all talking about himself. So Spider said, hold on. We got to prove this, right? So here comes Spider, and he moves away the bushes. And when he moves the bushes, there is a long piece of wood that he cut from a tree called a bamboo tree. And so this long piece of narrow wood is there. He says, this bamboo here is about, mm, probably about 16 feet or something like that. And he's like, put yourself against it. Let's measure and see. Snake said, that's no problem. So he gets right up there. And he measures, and so Spider says, he comes to the top and he says, listen, you're moving your head, because every time I walk down to the tail, I see you shimmying up a little bit more. You're moving your head. What are you doing? He says, I'm not moving. He says, all right, just to make sure this is fair, I'm going to tie your head so that make sure you're okay, then I'll tie your tail, and then if you're as long as this thing, you are the longest snake in the forest. Snake goes, of course, go ahead. So he ties the snake head to the pole. He goes down to the bottom. <laughs> and he says, stretch out your tail, snake. And snake stretches out his tail. And he ties the tail to the pole. And snake says, see, I told you I'm the longest snake in the forest. And then spider said, see, I told him I could catch you. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Where am I going with this story? Sometimes people will look at you and say to you, hey, you didn't get a high score on the test. You didn't do well in the exam or something like that. God gave everybody different abilities. Some people can work with their hands. Some people work with their brain. Some people have good eyesight. They're all different abilities that God has given different persons. And so sometimes people will come to you and tell you, oh, you can't do this. So what? You're not good at math. I wasn't. Still ain't. <laughs> and it ain't going to change anytime soon. But that doesn't mean I can't do something else. Don't let anybody try to tell you you can't do stuff because you can't do what somebody else does. God blesses everybody differently and he gives everybody their own talent or their own special thing to do. So do your own special thing. All the education, all the persons have, nobody could catch snake. But Spider, who didn't go to college and barely made it out of high school, caught the snake. And that's children's time for today. <laughs>